Four Growers began because me and my co-founder really wanted to find a way to grow more sustainably. And we learned about greenhouse farming and thought that this was an amazing way that they grow. You get 90% more water efficiency, 30 times more land efficiency, and you can grow anywhere in the world to provide local healthy produce. And we met Nature Fresh and we started asking them what were the challenges that were really preventing greenhouse farming from expanding. We've really been struggling to find enough labor uh, to do all of our work duties in, inside the greenhouse. Brandon called me, uh, it was a cold call, and, and he says, hey, we're working on something interesting. Uh, we'd like to meet with you. So he came over to Canada, we sat down for coffee, and he asked what challenges we were having and that they were looking into automation. And I told him, well, our biggest challenge is labor. As this sector grows more and more and more, we really need more automation to do all the jobs. Like I mentioned earlier, we, we just don't have enough people in this industry anymore. Building a robot to pick tomatoes in a greenhouse is incredibly difficult. People have been trying to do this since the 90s. You can find some big challenges to do something that is fast and to do something that is also economical. With the crew that we have currently, if a crew could do about 50 acres worth of product, it would allow us to expand more rapidly to grow to about 100 to 120 acres with the same crew. When we were looking at which robot arm supplier did we want to use, we looked at 30 different robot arms and we got samples of quite a few. And when we were testing, we found that Fanuc was the most performant and also one of the easiest to integrate with our software stack. We ended up using one of the software packages that Fanuc has, and we wrote a driver such that we could have our own motion planning be used by the Fanuc arm. Well, the improvements that are different from manual harvesting, in my opinion, would be that we can provide analytics back to the farms, as in how many ripe tomatoes were previously in that row, or um, you know maybe signs of disease that are starting to progress. Um, it's a fairly simple system. Everything's run from a tablet, so it's very straightforward. Um, it's easy to put in the row, it's easy to power on, and it's simple as just hit and start. Also, the speed of the arm as well. Now it goes in and out very fast and can avoid certain dunkles. You get a lot of analytics that you can't get with people normally harvesting. But we designed the AI to recapture, first off, from multiple different stereo cameras, uh, every single plant. And then we have to take those captured images in three-dimensional space and stitch them all together to create one cohesive scene. And then from there, our AI is able to go through and understand not just tomatoes and not just stems, but actually understand different concepts of the scene. And it uses that information and then figure out what is the best way to approach each individual tomato to successfully pick it, as well as what is the most efficient path to take such that we don't damage anything and that we also find the fastest way to pick all the tomatoes. Uh, from there, we take all that information, we find the right motion planning and the right path, and that information gets sent to Fanuc, and then the Fanuc arm is what moves out and actually does the pick. The relationship working with Fanuc has been great. We've gotten a lot of support, not just on maintenance and support of the actual robot itself, but for us, we're doing a lot of new things on the software side that I don't think Fanuc has necessarily done before. So we're getting access to a lot of the engineering team and people to really understand some of these cutting edge new software packages uh, that are coming out of Fanuc and with AI also, it will give us different set points, things that we've never seen ourselves, and it keeps learning as it goes every day where a human doesn't see it the same way, but AI is really gonna take it to the next level for us. We often talk about our employees as well, because sometimes they think, hey, we're gonna get replaced, but that's never the case. In agriculture, you still need uh, the human touch part of it as well but this will allow us, AI will allow us to expand more rapidly than what we do today. So I worked in uh, like the car industry that has a lot of Phoenix running on simple lines. Compared to manufacturing, I guess I get to be a part of a mission that is able to bring fresh produce to everybody. It seems like it's a no brainer, but it, it's, it's been really great. We have signed for additional robots to further improve our production. At first, everyone was nervous about it, but now everybody's really excited about their robotics. Nature Fresh Farms is growing for a kinder future. In the next five to 10 years, our technology will ensure that we no longer have any wasted fruit rotting on the vine. Uh, we'll make sure that all fruit gets picked at perfect ripeness, which will enable that more sustainable growing, the healthier produce, and also that better tasting, more affordable, locally grown produce for everybody.